is CBS 11 News Now. Thanks for joining us, everyone. News Now, our digital update. That's uh, Scott Padgett over there. Ken Molestini here. We are coming to you live from our Fort Worth studios here on Facebook. A reminder that we are live. Uh, be sure to chat with us, get your questions in, uh, comments if you want to say anything, or maybe if you just want to shout out here on Facebook Live. Hey, uh, folks, we're, we're following some uh, several stories here uh, today. Uh, we want to update you first and foremost on the big story that a lot of us have been keeping an eye on. Uh, this is that uh, train crash that took place earlier today involving members of Congress that were aboard an Amtrak train. It left Washington, D.C. earlier today. It was on its way uh, to White Sulphur Springs in uh, West Virginia. They were on their way to a, uh, a retreat, a GOP retreat. And uh, well, as you can tell, there was a wreck there that happened. Uh, it involved uh, the train uh, and what appears to be some sort of a trash truck. We're told that the driver of that truck uh, did unfortunately die as a result of this wreck. Uh, and we can update now that uh, one member of Congress, Representative Jason Lewis, according to my notes here, Jason Lewis from Minnesota, had to be hospitalized uh, as a result of a concussion that he suffered uh, aboard uh, the while well, he was aboard the train uh, at the time of this uh, at the time of this crash. Uh, a couple of Texas congressmen were also on board, uh, Pete Sessions and Dr. Uh, Michael Burgess. Uh, they're said to be fine. Uh, but again, uh, unfortunately, here the uh, the sad news uh, for this one is that the the driver of that truck uh, that was uh, that was hit by the truck uh, that was hit by the uh, the train uh, has died. Uh, President Trump spoke about this a little earlier today. Let's have a listen. Well, thank you very much. I just want to start by saying I spoke with Speaker Ryan just a few moments ago, and uh, they're doing pretty good. The train accident was uh, a tough one, a tremendous jolt, and uh, they're proceeding to their conference. We don't have a full understanding yet as to what happened, but it was a train hitting a truck going at a pretty, pretty good speed, and uh, we'll have a full report as to what. It looks like the driver of the truck was killed, and it's very sad to see that. But they're going on to the conference, and uh, I'll be going. It's in West Virginia, great state. I'll be going there. I'll be going tomorrow, and uh, we'll be together. But it was a uh, pretty rough uh, hit. That's what they all tell me. I spoke to a few of the folks, and they say it was tough. President Donald Trump uh, speaking and offering uh, some comments uh, on the situation. As you just heard him say, he is scheduled to speak at that retreat that those GOP uh, members of Congress were headed to. Uh, Vice President Mike Pence is also expected to be over there. Our Jack Fink is working the story here locally, uh, and he uh, had a little update on what he's been up to today. Have a look at this. Oh. We go, okay. I'm told right now that we don't uh, actually have that. Uh, so again, uh, Jack Fink is working on that, but uh, we're going to have more on you, uh, more on that uh, at four o'clock. He did speak to uh, Representative Pete Sessions uh, about uh, what all had happened there on the train. Of course, Pete Sessions was on the train. He was there also uh, with his staff, uh, and he said that uh, he was doing all right. But he had some remarks about what happened, uh, and Jack Fink is going to have that for us a little later on. Uh, our Jason Allen, though, he has been in the courtroom today over here in uh, Tarrant County all day today for the. Uh, uh, Itmar Vardy trial. You might remember that name. Uh, Vardy is the man accused of choking the eight year old son of Jacqueline Craig. Uh, this is what led to that controversial arrest that was caught on video uh, and ultimately led to uh, some discipline and some changes within the Fort Worth Police Department. But again, today, uh, the trial for the man initially accused uh, of choking that uh, eight year old boy. And uh, here's what Jason had to say. The jury is out right now in Fort Worth in a case against Itamar Vardy. He is the man who just over a year ago said that he saw a young boy in front of his house throw some trash down, asked the boy to pick it up, and when he didn't, he said he put a hand on the boy's shoulder to get him to pick it up. Well, it was that little boy and that boy's mother, Jacqueline Craig, who then came back to confront Vardy about what happened. She called police, and police ended up arresting her. That turned into a video that went viral around the nation. It was Vardy's part in all of this and what ended up being a misdemeanor, Class C misdemeanor assault charge against him that he is now fighting. We'll keep watching and see what the jury does and update you this afternoon. 
All right, so there you have it. Jason Allen, uh, he is in the courtroom, and he'll have the very latest uh, just as we get it. Uh, joined now by Annalise Parks. Good to see you, Annalise. Good to see you, too. We're getting ready for a 4 o'clock show here on the air uh, in a little bit, but, we, of course, we like to update folks on Facebook Live. Uh, a lot of folks uh, concerned also about uh, the winds and some of these yeah. uh, dry conditions out there. Uh, we can't say this enough. I know we talked about it when we did the Facebook Live at noon, uh, but, you know, a lot of different people joining us now. Mm -hmm. And again, the word of caution here is be very careful out there and observe uh, the, the, the burn bands right. that are going on right now. Yeah, and, and there are a lot of burn bands, especially along I-35 yeah. and off to the west. Uh, that's where we're seeing most of those burn bands. But that's also where we're seeing the red flag warning, which as we've been talking about, the highest level uh, of danger as far as fire is concerned, mixing that with some weather conditions that are far from ideal, uh, really a bad recipe. So if we were to have a fire, it would spread quickly uh, and really be hard to control with these kind of conditions. Warm temperatures, wow, look at these numbers, Ken. 76 right now, DFW. So uh, it's warm. It's not a record. Mm -hmm. Record today, I looked it up, it's 93. So even with as warm <laughs> as it is, we would have had to make up a lot of ground uh, to get the record high today but still unseasonably warm when you consider this time of the year normal would be in the upper 50s mm -hmm. this is the really impressive part of course aside from the warmth it's the winds our wind gusts still right now pushing 40 miles per hour in spots Fort Worth 39 mile per hour wind gusts currently yeah. and you can see some of those mid to upper 30s it's really going to stay windy too Ken all the way into tonight and then the cold front pushes through early tomorrow finally those okay. winds will start to die down a little bit yeah we could all use a little bit of a break of course uh, you know the red flag warning is in effect and we've seen the the wildfires the grass fires that have sparked uh, yeah. as a result of uh, some of the winds that are just kind of carry these embers across. Uh, right now on Facebook Live, Wesley Schaefer saying winds in Arlington, Texas at the ballpark are at 45 miles an hour. I mean, that's pretty fast. If, that's, uh, that's oh, true. yeah. I don't know that we, ha we we don't have a wind meter down at the ballpark, do we? We do not. Okay, but we do know that, uh, again, it's uh, higher Fish than usual. 40. Sure, yeah, absolutely. There, there's a lot you know, up right now at AT&T sta uh, AT Stadium in Arlington. On my drive in, I could see uh, some of the 18-wheelers kind of having a tough time so these high profile cars on a day yes, like today yes, you could yes, yes. you could see the the wheels were trying to stay straight but yeah. the the what am I trying to say? The, the body of the, of the truck, yeah, yeah, the very the top was probably swaying. Was swaying. Yeah. It was a little nerve wracking. Yeah. So all of us around this one particular semi were trying to get by them and move on because you could tell it was it was kind of making for a tough driving day too. Yeah, certainly nerve wracking out there on the roads. Uh, and, and again, I mean that just goes to prove just how how strong some of these winds can be. So mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, so far we haven't heard of anything uh, awful uh, related to to the winds, uh, the, the the threat, the danger exists. Right. Uh, but we're keeping our fingers crossed and hoping that. Uh, that's the way that it stays for the rest of the day because, again, you're saying tomorrow we're mm -hmm. going to have a bit of a break uh, in these high winds, right? At least not as bad. It's still going to be breezy tomorrow, but they're just not going to be quite as tough, um, quite as high on those wind speeds as they've been today. I do think, uh, I know on National Weather Service chat, at one time not long ago, they were responding, uh, Bowie Fire Department, I think, oh, was okay. responding to a bit of a grass fire there. Okay. So that's all I'm seeing so far, but so yeah. Long. Use we'll, caution. Cer we'll certainly keep an eye on that. And again, uh, uh, you know, we can't say it enough. Uh, you know, the burn bans are in effect for a reason. Right. Uh, Johnson County was uh, one of the uh, other counties, uh, the most recent counties earlier today, to issue that burn ban uh, and just prohibiting any kind of burning outdoors. So uh, just hang on, folks, another day or so of this, uh, and then, you know, things will. Things will get safer out there and everything can go back to normal. But in the, for the time being, uh, you know, we have seen these winds, uh, you know, what they can do for, for, mm -hmm. for some of these fast moving fires. Of course, it's just dry out there, you know. It's so dry. It's so dry. And we just don't have any uh, big rain chances. We were yeah. talking about that earlier because you right. were saying, are we done with this? I think that's what everyone's saying. When, when can we be done talking about these red yeah. flag warnings and, and the danger? And I, I wish I could say soon, but at this point, yeah. We don't have that big rain in the forecast to say, yeah, that's really going to help us out. Yeah, we could use it, though, and uh, mm -hmm. we'll hope to get it soon. I hope so. <laughs> Fingers right. crossed. Annalise, thanks so much. Uh, and thank you so much uh, for joining us here uh, on Facebook Live, everyone. Keep looking down on my phone, by the way. Don't think that I'm ignoring <laughs> you, guys. you guys. We see you. We see Annalise, <laughs> everybody here. Uh, but, of course, uh, you guys like to send us uh, your comments and like to say hello. So I just wanted to acknowledge that we see all the comments coming through here right now. I uh, want to say hello 
to Antonio Ray, Joyce uh, Durham, who also uh, just chimed in here on Facebook Live. So thank you very much, everybody, for watching, for participating, for saying hello, for asking your questions. We're going to have uh, much more on these stories that we just told you about coming up on our 4 o'clock newscast. But in the meantime, be sure to check out our website, cbsdfw.com. You can also check out all of our social media platforms. We're all over the place with all kinds <laughs> of news for you. We'll see you later. Take care. This is CBS 11 News Now.